Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, KZN International Jazz Festival hopes to attract the international market in tourism, social cohesion, economic development, and to contribute in the conversation, in the, rather, in the conservation, that's what I'm trying to say, of South African jazz heritage, happening in at the Station Functions and Events Center on the 3rd of June. The KZN International Festival will feature three segmented themes, the International Jazz Hour, Afro Jazz Hours and Smooth Jazz Hour. With a gala dinner set up, the festival will produce and provide a conducive environment for jazz appreciators to enjoy food and drinks uh, from their favorite artists such as Dr. And Duzo Makatini, Selai Losolota, and Japan's Yayoi Ikawa, to name a few. Now, to tell us more, we're joined in studio by one of the festival's headliners, guitar maestro Selai Losolota. And then on Zoom is, of course, KZN International uh, Festival. Festival producer uh, Atlas Duma. Uh, gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning. I'm going to start with uh, Atlas in uh, KZN. Uh, Bob Duma, very good morning to you. I mean, tell us a little bit about this festival. What is the inspiration behind it? Uh, uh, good morning to the viewers. Um, yes, it's a very, very dynamic festival. It's going to be taking place on the 3rd of June. Uh, it is inspired by the 30th. Uh, April, like that is the International Jazz Day. Mm. So all jazz uh, cats and jazz practitioners are celebrating International Jazz Day on the 30th of April. So we did launch uh, in case at an International Jazz Festival on that day. So then we are going to have a fully fledged festival on the 3rd mm. of, of June. Um, 2023. Yeah. Silailo, I mean, I'm looking at this lineup and yes. already it's an exciting lineup. Tell us a little bit about what we can look forward to uh, from your performance. Well, you know, I'm, I'm very glad because as you mentioned, the three elements of the festival, yeah. the, 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 you know, the smooth jazz, the Afro jazz, this, I, I, I'm smiling because I know that I'm, I'm deliberately going to be the mishmash of all of yes. them. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be straddling all, all the three of them. Mm. And so I'm looking forward really because we have got dynamic performers there. What, some of them were friends, you know, Toli Sazamin is one of the artists there, you know, Bongani uh, Nkwanyana, Mtobi Simtalani. I'm looking forward to performing with them and sharing stage with them because as I say, there's this excitement and that friendship that has been going for years yeah. and so it's just like we're going to be just like little kids who are who are, who've been thrown in the garden yeah. to play yeah and speak to us about that involvement Yakolisa, as well uh, from where you know her from and who she is today and your performance on stage together you know i started i, I invited her in my second album mm -hmm. uh, 2001 uh, that the one that contained the, the groundbreaking trapa song yeah and uh, i just wanted because of her energy um, I liked her energy from that time. And now when I worked with her last year, I realized that, you know, over the years we've been growing so much that now I, she's, she's in a different league. And I'm really looking forward that I hope there would be a moment where all of us converge uh, in a space, more like, you know, at a jazz festival, sometimes we have jam sessions. Yes, music. yes, I'm looking yes. forward to that excitement of just letting go, you know. Mm -hmm. Babu, you must speak to us about the diversity of uh, this concert and the different uh, jazz heads, if you want to call them that, uh, that you've brought in into the festival. Um, yes, it, it's very exciting. So for us to bring different hourly films that actually interpret uh, the dynamics and, 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 and the diversity of the festival, it, it is actually portrays uh, how unique and how diverse is the is the jazz. Because one can actually connect and be able to define and explain this jazz element and feel at home to appreciate a certain jazz element that that actually able to him or her to to distinguish between or among these genres so uh, it is very exciting starting with the cool jazz uh, graduating to the afro jazz and closing our session with the international jazz where where, where that one is going to be portraying the skills of um yayoi ikawa from japan mm. and Makatini and um, our Richard Bonner. So we are very proud that we are able to bring along these international artists 
and enjoy jazz with us in KZN. Yeah, and speaking of KZN, you've yes. always said that there's something about magnetic about also pro uh, performing in KZN for you. You know, for me, it, I think every second year, as a tourist, yeah. I, have, I have to go to one of the destinations in KZN. Uh, because one of the things is that I remember very well, it was uh, uh, August 2000, when I launched my first album. Mm. I went to KZN to go and perform with, with uh, uh, Dativus Matasal at the Bed Center. Yeah. And I sang the song Lolita. And when I sang that song, it was the third song. Now, because it was the first song I sang in Zulu, yeah. uh, it, uh, they could not stop singing with me. Yeah. I performed three songs instead of eight songs. <laughs> yeah. uh, but from that day, yeah. I know that my voice and my identity and, and art got accepted in that space. And then I started growing from there. You yeah. see, if you can grow from the coast, because you are blown into the inland by the by the breeze yes you know you're gonna be breezing through throughout the, the <laughs> throughout. land so i love you know uh, south coast north coast kzn mm. it's amazing it's beautiful and speak to us about um the venue for um this festival and why you specifically chose this particular venue the venue is very beautiful uh one can uh, actually get confused when we are saying it at Deben Station, you mm. know, because Deben Station is a quite a, a busy area in another side of the, of the building, you know. However, we are going to stage it on top, the rooftop of the building of the Deben Station. So that rooftop is having a beautiful venue on top that is called uh, the Station Urban Event Space. So it's, it's very corporate, uh yeah it's good looking you know if you're inside you actually feel at home and we are very proud staging our events there if you you travel a lot with a bus so at Deppen station there's a bus terminals mm. underneath the Deppen station so that that is your way up to that rooftop of the Deppen station that's how easy the, the the event is so much accessible with plenty parking and a very welcoming environment yeah and what challenges have come with organizing this festival um yeah it, it, it's it's a dear foundation that is actually got got this mandate from uh the uh, the, the original organizers of mm. or founders of of the of the international jazz celebration day uh the the, the happy hancock institute of jazz in london uh endorsed by unesco you know so those those bodies are actually uh, making us legit as to being endorsed by them that this festival is, is getting an international reach out, an international mandate, and it is so much recognized in the, in, in, in the global environment with, with regard to uh, jazz scenes and jazz fraternity. Mm. Slala, how long is your set? Speak to us about the thought process that has gone into going to this performance because I know you give a lot of thought process into start to finish. Have you thought about that? Have you, you know, curated it in your head? The minute I get, I get, um, you know, requested or get identified as one of the artists to perform for a festival such as this, it starts on that very day. Yes. And so, you know, I've been going through my emotions I've been going through the energy, yes. the environment. I actually acclimatize myself according to where I'm going, even including the culture, the nuances of the music, where mm. I'm going, how those people sing in that space, but still bringing in the context of jazz within me in that space. Yes. So I have been already working on discussing with my band of how can we, how can we interpret this and, and, uh, it's becoming beautiful, but more than anything, I like the surprise. And I even like surprising myself. Yes. Because that allows me to challenge myself to say, no, this is what, what I, I thought about. Let me do something that I didn't think about. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to a space that can just l let me be. And I, I, I can, you know, I carry the essence of what, Mr. Duma is is doing yeah. uh, his vision. I also try to incorporate that in him specifying that that international link in my jazz language. I know that I will be able to incorporate 
a kind of playing that will say, no, but I, this guy knows what we are yeah. talking about. Yeah, so. All right, so before we wrap this interview up, let's, uh, let's hear this message from uh, one of our guests, uh, the multi-instrumentalist Richard Bonner, who's also performing, by the way, at the festival, and he is currently in Paris, and this is what he had to say. Hey, what's up, South Africa? Sao Bona. I hope you guys are all well. Just a quick announcement to let you guys know. June 3rd, I will be in KwaZulu-Natal, believe it or not. And this is the KwaZulu-Natal International Jazz Festival, June 3rd. This event is sponsored by the Sagia Foundation. I can't wait to see you. Right, Richard Bonner then, he will be one of the performers at the KZN International uh, Jazz Festival. In studio with me was Selaila Silota. And then, of course, on Zoom all the way in KZN was, of course, the festival uh, uh, director and organizer, uh, Atlas Duma. All right.